business like now? What's the business like now? Well, now, now business is much better. I took on today a client who is my highest paid package ever by a long shot. I've taken on a coach as well now to work with me yeah. that I had some clients to. I feel like I'm running a business now. So with one call, I doubled my monthly straight away. I think at this time in three months time, comfortably got to triple what I'm earning now. So today we have Sam PT himself, Keith. Keith, what would you actually introduce yourself, who you are, who you work with? Give us the background. All right. My name is Keith. I work with guys over 40 who are super busy, executive, high power job type guys who let themselves go because they've been focusing on their career and now they're looking to get back into a bit of attention on themselves, get back in their health, to see themselves down the slip towards sniper rally and they're looking to uh, dodge that bullet. Okay. And we now, I think, have been working together for eight, nine months, right? What was the problem in the business when you actually, when we first jumped on a call? The problem was I had no leads, no idea how to get leads. I was doing the thing that you hear about that you should do, keep posting on Instagram, which is important, but call to action and the content wasn't well thought out. And there was just no other way of, of getting leads, you know? So it was falling massively short. There's no one coming in and I was strongly considering just becoming a butcher or something, just something completely different. <laughs> when I walk into work and get handed money after, you know, decades of doing this mid self employed. So that was the that was the situation. But how was that kind of manifesting itself on you then, I guess, personally? Just like constant stress, constant financial stress, working hard, um, putting in as many hours as possible, but feeling quite unsure that any of these were really productive because I was just guessing at what to try. And I was doing things over and over again that were already not working, like why they weren't working. So work wasn't super fun. And then I was trying to squeeze it in amongst clients as well, because I was still trying to see clients want to want to make ends meet. So quite stressful there. And then in my time off, it just, I couldn't enjoy it. Couldn't enjoy my time off. Certainly couldn't enjoy spending any money. So it was just constant stress. Fast forward to now, we've done a lot of things, I guess, to start. What are some of the things I guess we've done together? First big major thing, having a look at the offer, getting a clear offer, like even me being able to introduce myself there and what I do, that's something I, I would have struggled with before, you know, like, what is it that I do? I would have just in the past taken anyone and everyone and through kind of crafting the offer with you, I realized there's actually people who I prefer to work with and it's good for them too. We can relate. So honing that down into like a clear offer. And then from that, having a clear strategy, who am, who am I marketing to? What do they need to hear? You know, what are their struggles? What, what do they need help with? That was the first big, huge thing. Uh, you know, I'm glad I asked you the first question because it's, 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 um, it's a very hard thing to do to niche yourself down when you're in a bit of a scarcity place when you're like, well, it's, I can't really start saying no to people. And I'm, I, I can't really do this where I'm niching down. And like, how did you find that process yourself? When we were like, we need to get clear on the offer. We need to get clear in the niche. Yeah, that was, it was definitely scary at first for that very reason. And it's something I had been aware of even before we started working together that I needed to niche down that it was sort of nonsense what I was doing, but I just found it hard to take that step. Um, and even to know who do I want to work with. So then from chatting with yourself, that made it easier to figure out like, where do I get the most joy? Where do I get good returns? Who can I get really great results for? And once I started to put into place proper marketing techniques that we were going through together, I realized it was just totally untenable to try and do that and speak to everyone because it was, it was gobbledygook and it meant nothing to, to everyone. I actually made it go from a very scary prospect to very, very easy to, to step on, you know, it's just like, this is actually the only thing that's going to work and nothing will work until I fix this. And it was a very, very easy step to take then. So what did that actually change in the business for you? Like, how did you actually start to change how you were operating once you had that nailed down? So from a content and creation perspective, it made it much easier to create content, to create lots of content in one day, batch it up. Something that used to take me a long time because I'd be just doing a video off the cuff and trying to make it fit a lot of different people. Um, so really easy to come up with ideas, um, 
pretty easy to make out those videos and then reaching out to people with messages. I know already what their problems are, you know, I know their age, I know what kind of job they're in, that kind of thing. So I know what they need help with before we even get talking, you know, it's not just going to be fat loss or something. It's going to be something much bigger than that. So yeah, it made it, made it much easier to, to go about things that way. So that's, that's what it changed for me. So offer was one niche was, was another one kind of the same thing. What else, I guess, have we changed? What else have we done together? I think you can be down a bit as well, which is, uh, yeah. yeah, instead of just running in all directions, trying to try everything, you know, and, you know, trying something for a while and then, you know, getting kind of nervous, is not working and trying something else again, just having clear metrics is what is what's done that. So for example, the ads, doing ads. Knowing from you going into it, okay, we'll get this amount of numbers through the ads before we can even decide what's working and what's not. Whereas before that was just blindly throwing darts. Like, did I get a customer? It was just a yes, no result and no idea why, you know? So yeah, um, that's, that's been a big one as well. Just having, having clear metrics. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna call you out on something. Okay. Maybe, maybe you remember it, but I've actually told this uh, story to a couple of people. I think it was probably about two months in, we're working together and you came to me actually, this isn't, this isn't working here. Like mm -hmm. I'm not getting, I'm not getting clients, I'm not getting leads. I was like, well, let's jump on a call. Let's go through it. We jumped on a call and I yeah. said, right, show me, show me what you've done. And there wasn't anything done. Yeah. Stuff that was done was kind of like, I tried this for a couple of days. I tried this for a week. It didn't really work. I feel like I had to give you a bit of a kick up the arse on that call. But since then you have been smashing it. Right. So what changed there? Because the way you told me that the, the, the way you answered the last question sounds like it was very much the old version of you where you try something for a little bit and it wouldn't work. And you were just stuck in this cycle of nothing's working, but nothing was, nothing was planned. You're not sticking to stick into anything. Do you remember that call? I totally remember that. That was definitely the turning point. And what it pointed out to me was like, when we got on the call and I was like, yeah, so I've tried, yeah, I'm not sure what we were trying at the time, say LinkedIn, um, Okay, I tried that, didn't work. But my idea of trying it was kind of like loosely tracked in my head. You know, it was very subjective. And, you know, I was just doing that thing of just that nervous energy. I need to get people in. So anything that was taking me away from that, like even tracking what I was doing, was was quite hard to to do. And I was deviating time away from that. Whereas then from talking to you and going through it, I realized I can't even see what I've done here, you know. And, you know, just like you'd get a, well, I get one of my clients to track what they're doing, you know, yeah. we can see what's working and what's not. Um, and I hadn't been doing that. And I fully thought that I had, but I had just been caught in that kind of nervous energy kind of loop of, if you get clients in, this isn't working quick, ditch that, try this, you know? Um, so that, that was the big change, just realizing how far off the mark I was with that, how much I needed to refocus on what I'm doing, focus on one thing, track it well, so I can understand what's working and, uh, and just staying consistent, not trying to do, you know, shop and change from one thing to another. And I did it. I did, did what you said, track the stuff, you know, just narrow down the few things I was doing into one or two things, instantly getting results, getting leads coming in, people booking calls and sales. What's it like now? What's the business like now? Well, now, now business is much better. I was still kind of excited from earlier on from the, from the call I had. Um, I took on today a client who is my highest paid package ever by a long shot. That client super bought in the whole through the call. He loved going through the script. You could tell he was just super reassured. The pitch deck, all of the way that you've showed me to present the sale to someone really worked. Um, got to the end, paid on the call, paid in full for six months and that one payment is more than the entire money that I get from all of my clients per month. So with one call, I doubled my monthly straight away. So got another it's call just, tomorrow. It's just a case of knowing how to do it and getting the reps in can completely change everything. Right. Yeah. So how do you feel now? Like person, not just now today, but in terms of running the business now. Well, that's the thing. I feel like I'm running a business now. Whereas before I was very much working in a business and trying to identify as somebody who had a business, but I was very much, I was a personal trainer, you know, and 
it's which is fine and I still am, but I didn't have a business. So I was just just scrambling all over the place, you know. So that's a huge reassurance for me that I feel like I actually have a business. I've taken on a coach as well now to work with me yeah. that I had some clients to, and that's something that's come from this program, knowing when to do that, because I would have done it too early, um, knowing how to do it. So now it really is something where when I look at my calendar, there might be, you know, half an hour in a day where I'm spending time on clients working in my business and the rest of it is working on the business, you know, pushing things forward, which is brilliant. That was another thing that had me stuck in a loop because I was trying to hold out these one-to-one clients to not be giving up, you know, cold hard cash. And it just meant that I, I didn't have enough time or enough headspace to, to focus on the business and actually grow it into something that could make money. 100%. Yeah, 100%. You're stuck in a loop in a, in a lot of different ways, I think, uh, mm-hmm. which is just really hard to, to break out of it. So I guess there's a lot of stuff, I guess, that you've done. There's a lot of stuff you've done yourself, a lot of stuff you've done together. Three biggest takeaways, I guess, from the last couple of months. Three biggest takeaways is patience, staying patient, just working on something consistently and very thoroughly tracking stuff well. So you can really understand what's working and what's not. Second thing is having the confidence to push forward and make things, just make changes, make things different, increase the prices. I mean, to really beefing up the whole sales call process, you know, making that quite smooth, quite luxurious. Um, the third thing, it's hard to pick, it's hard to narrow it down to three. Um, I would say, I'd say the takeaway actually for me, the third takeaway would be how important community is, you know? So the course is fantastic. The modules are unbelievable, but being on the, the school platform, going through those modules and having everyone able to chime in on the message board, seeing other people's wins, you know, seeing their questions, what they're asking about and that informing, you know, I'm learning from people all the time. So I think that's the, the big takeaway that I didn't realize that because I've done, just done everything on my own all the time, but having a community and being surrounded by people who are trying to do the same thing as me, you know, that's, that's been fantastic. And seeing them, people who've been in the game longer than me, who've been doing this with you longer than, than I have, and they're that much further on. And it's just, you know, success leaves clues, you know. 100%. I think if you look back at yourself, maybe eight, nine months ago, just before you started this, and you're maybe on the fence thinking about it, what would you say to yourself? Just jump in both feet straight away, jump in. Isn't everything Jamie says? <laughs> yeah, get as involved as possible. Yeah, just just do everything to dedicate as much time to this as possible. Do it fully. Yeah, and just if I if I could have got into this a year earlier, man, I can't imagine where I'd be now. You know. So where do you think it'd be this time next year? What's next? This time next year, I've even I think at this time in three months' time, comfortably got to triple what I'm earning now, and. Um, that's just, that's just a small amount of work away. You know, a year on, a year from there. That's really cool, actually. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's going to be off the hook. That's going to be being able to have a full team working with me, you know? That's it's great to see you excited about the business as opposed to just scared of it. You know what I mean? And scared yeah. of what's going to happen. Probably more time for deep sea diving. Or well, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's what's coming into my head there. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot more time for underwater hunting and hanging out with, with friends and not that I hadn't been doing that, but being able to do it and enjoy it, you know, big difference, isn't it? Yeah. Being able to drive across the country to go for a dive and not just be running through my head the whole time. Be like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> with petrol costs, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, thanks for jumping on. I really wanted to jump on with you today, especially after your, your big win, but you've just been smashing it. And I can't really stress the importance enough of being involved because I think that is the big, you said there, success leaves clues. I said it today in, in one of the posts, you've been on every coaching call. You actually ask questions more than anyone and you're actually putting in the work. Now you can see it paying off. And like you said, in a year's time, thinking about where you could be is a very exciting prospect. So yeah, I'm yeah. down to see that. Yeah, man, me too. Okay, see you there. Thanks, man. Cheers, bud.